Welcome everybody to House Flipper with all the DLCs. We are, oh, you know what, we might just fix up this yard. This is episode five. Um, we've got a few things to do. I think I've got a job to do over at the HGTV house. Wrong one. We're going to mow this puppy and get it done. I oh, know we're not going to mow the puppy because she's inside. Where she can't give us heart failure. I know. Eventually I'll get there. All right, let's go. I know, I know we did a ton of mowing last episode. That's okay, I guess. For what it's worth, we'll just get this this done because it is driving me crackers. All right, fine, we'll go this way, mower. I know, it's this, this entire yard just really causing me a headache. I know. Look, eventually I'll stop with the crazy mowing and we'll actually, you know, mow the puppy down. There we go. Let's get it all done. I know there's, there's apparently something sticking out there that we can't see. I'll run around the edge with a whippersnapper, make it all tidy and pretty. It'll be fine. I think I did at one stage. Uh, work out that you could sprint with a mower. I know, right? Who'd have thunk it? I'm just wondering if, um, if, like, we want to keep this yard because it's so huge and we could fit pets, outside pets in it. Or if we want to just sell this little office once we get to a point where it's sellable because that'd be fun um and and or if we want to wait until until we can expand the off that like the building that they're talking about us being able to do that they've spent some time working on how to get it done um that's pretty good just get this bit here done I know, we're just going to just get this out of our way while we can. It's not the most exciting, riveting stuff, but it will make me happy. We might think also about um, exactly what we want to do with get this bit done with the um let's move that around man so slow this afternoon it's freezing outside i have to say it's it's actually bucketing down you get these heavy showers with intermittent sunshine and i did go out in it so i i have to walk to pick up my these school pickups um so it was a matter of, you know, jumper, raincoat, jacket. <laughs> Insane. Oh, really? I know. Getting tired. Just fiddle that around this way. Slide over this way. And away we go again. Come on. I know. Moa go broom. Really? Brr. Wow, it's not doing much brrring, is it? Thank you. It is possible I have worn my left mouse button down. I may need a new mouse. I have been working it very hard. <laughs> Alright, nearly done. 
I know, one, one improvement on our office. I'm tempted to actually just go and paint the whole thing, but I don't know what color scheme I want. Or maybe we could actually tile it. If we had the tile tool, I don't think we do. Oh no, we'll have to rectify that. But today I think we'll do the, uh, we'll finish the HGTV job. We might go and get our tiling tool. Um, but I really, really want to see what's next in the, in the pet slipper. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I know the dog inside is going nuts, going, hey, owner, I'm here, play with me. Well, now we'll be able to let her out to play. Look at this. Almost done with the yard. Okay. Let us very quickly whipper snip the edges. Broom. I know. Whipper snipper go broom too. Brush cutter, whatever you want to call it. The thing. The thing that goes broom. Just a little bit along the edges we've missed. And around the edge of the house. It is possible we're going to have to move the dog bathing thing just to get that tidy. Looks like we can see a little bit more dirt in our mini mat too. I wonder if I can just, you know, whip a snip that without actually having to move it. How, how ultra lazy can we be? Pretty ultra lazy, that's that's not bad. It looks like there's this tiny little bit right in the middle that's just out of reach already. Can I pick this up? Yeah, this is what we should have done rather than just faff about. Just get that last little bit out. And we were going to um, find where that dirty patch is. It's not down low. About up high. Nope. About where the window used to be. There you go. So maybe next time before we before we move the windows, we're going to want to um, clean properly. Okay. Hello, girl. How you doing? Are you a good puppy? You are a good puppy. Yeah. Alrighty. Give you a treat for being a good girl. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you clumsy girl. Alrighty. I know, it's, it's not my house. Alright, we wanted to look at this Morgan's pet care thing. Let's have a quick look here. So, uh... What's pet hotel? Ah! Oh, okay, we can... Oh, pets at home. Alright, this is the pets we have at home. And we can move her to the hotel if she gets underfit. And we can put pets in the hotel as well. Nothing. So this little sad trash panda gets me every time. Alrighty, dogs. Oh, okay. These are all our dogs: beagles, border collies, labradors. Okay, cats, ragdolls, Bengal, British, Scott. Okay, so these are all our different kinds of cats. Maine Coon, that is a big kitty. Bunnies, just one bunny? No, several bunnies. Oh boy, he's a pet collector. Hamsters, guinea pigs, hamsters. I know. Oh, I see. Okay, all of these dots are things we haven't looked at. Okay, well, we'll just quickly go through iguanas and turtles. Okay, so there's a couple of different kinds. Looks like it. Okay, pastel ready and slider, and I guess the no, same one. All right, oh, color me confused. Ha 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 ha. Oh man, everyone loves those, right? So naughty. Intelligent, like five-year-olds. 
Okay, so there are a bunch of parrots we can make our lives exciting with. We have Danios and Discus, yes. Snakes, egg-eating snakes. Okay, and spiders. Oh boy, okay. Just the one. Radio tutorial. All right, your best buddy is waiting for you at Morgan's Pet Care. Take care and name it. Uh, if it's a small animal, choose an enclosure for it and have a great time together. Okay. Oh, wait. Adoption. Pet panel. Okay, it tells you how to interact with you. Wow. Okay. Pets and jobs. Uh, take on a job option. Pet panel. And you won't have to work alone anymore. You get Your pet will get a hat which will turn off its needs. It's magic. Traits. The helper trait means teamwork. If your dog has this trait and is an adult, it'll dig holes when needed and even carry the paint for you. Remember to reward it with a treat. Ah, so you've got to put the, the dog next to the... Okay, I think I get that. Playing. Play with your cats, dogs and bunnies. Keep them happy. Uh, select a game or press E while looking at a toy. If you have more than one pet, all of them will want to pay, play. Remember, cats and dogs play only with toys dedicated to them. Oh, okay. Feeding. Everyone needs to eat. Okay. Oh, we have not, um... We have not given our dog a water bowl. Sleep. Don't let your pet nap on the floor. Open the store tab and find what you like. Okay, bath time. Call the dog while looking at the tub. It'll jump in. Now bathe and dry it. Okay. Big dogs won't fit in a small wash tub. Going to the potty. Uh, cats like to do them in litter box. Dogs, you can use them out but prefer to go outside. None of them can do everything from birth. Puppies and kittens need some patience. Sometimes they'll make a little mess but they're so cute you'll forgive them easily. And the pet hotel. You can place your pets in the pet hotel whenever you need. Uh, for example, while you're buying them a new enclosure or moving your office. Don't worry, Morgan will take care of them until you're ready to pick them up. If you ever feel like you lost your pets, don't panic. Check the pet hotel or Morgan's Pet Care. They could be waiting for you there. Alright, so that is all under the Morgan's Pet Care tab. Cool. Alright, so the first thing I suppose we should do is finish off this HGTV job, wherever it went. Right, there it is. Let's just resume it and we'll uh, we'll finish it off. I know, right? We are going to mow these lawn, the lawn for these guys. <laughs> you knew that was coming. I mean, don't complain. We're going to get it done. All right. Welcome to your first job in Sunset Bay. Are you ready to help John and Nicole renovate the house of their dreams? Well, the house is small. The view is amazing. You'll have to make some decisions when it comes to room arrangement. The shack under the house is especially problematic. Good luck, Greta and Oliver. All right. So I'm going to just grab my mower and we're going to get this done because I know why do it because it's nice to give the clients a, a nice house to, to go in. You will note I haven't weeded their lawn. I'm just going to mow it and we'll do a very quick zip around the edge with a whippersnipper as well. So when it comes to when it comes to um to to, to actually making our house, we'll uh, we'll get there. I love the ghost mo; it's awesome. These guys just want um keep the dogs having a blast. She is such a good thing. I just find it's nicer to arrive at the job and have it mowed and it's easier to move about and get our tools and stuff all done it's just yeah but we won't go nuts and do everything else we'll just get this done I know she's such a distraction too the dog funnily enough as I'm saying this um a, a builder down the road and his his helpie decided to 
take itself for a walk today. Um, so I'm hoping he's got it back. Because it was an older dog. Little rain jacket and everything. I haven't seen it though. So, hmm. So yes, dogs on work sites. They make our lives much richer, but oh my gosh, the heart failure they give us as well. Oh, especially when they run in front of the mower. Evil creatures. All right, we clearly cannot ghost mow under here. We'll just do our best. Oh my goodness, we're going to be able to put in doors and everything under here. It's going to be so good. I know, the dog is like a ghost herself. She's just driving me crackers at the moment. There we go. Ah! I know, we'll play dodge the puppy. There you go. Get all of this done. Mowed it beautifully. I know, this is where we start getting complaints. I just wanted my lawn to look like an abomination. No, you didn't. All right, time for the weed whacker. Just finish it off nicely. Don't weed whack the dog. Man, dog, you are such a menace. Please move, Patootie. I know, I tell her to move her to one spot and tell her to stay, but... Um, we all know how that worked out last time I tried it. It's like, what? You've got the weed whacker now? Man, boss, I'm going to come and help you. No, you're not, dog. Go over there. We got through that tree, okay. Just get this side bit done. And all of this in here, which we didn't do. Oops. Oh well, we'll get it done this way. Man, stop putting it away. The weed whacker will whack the weeds. You just have to raise and lower it get it done. So all of this is done. Ah, there it is. I know these, these tall poles are a, an abomination. All right, now we have a nice clean lawn. Oh, no, we don't. We almost have a nice clean lawn. Just zip along this way. Zip along this way. Did I miss a bit down here? I think I did. Yep, there it is. Hiding in the base of the... Um, there. Alrighty, so now we've got most of this done. Let's just go back over to here, finish up this edge here. I mean, it doesn't look too bad until you get the rest of the lawn done and then it looks just terrible. Okay, we're just going to have to aim a little higher. Where will we going? Yeah, this way. All right, so that's mostly done.
I don't think I'm going to be able to get that bit underneath. That's going to annoy me. No end. But you're not, you don't need it for 100% finish, so that is okay as well. Right. Uh, oops, looks like we missed a bit. I know, what? Okay. Let's get to it. So down here, we need to basically fix this shed up. Ooh, we have choices. Sauna and bathroom. Being able to hop in the sauna after swimming in the sea sounds fantastic. Just cleaning it up will suffice. It's a very capable storage room, maybe even suitable for a workshop. It could do with a chair, though. All right, let's give him what he wants. All righty. We'll give it a quick scrub down. I think she'd do much better if she actually had, like, a dedicated... Um... Oh, really? Let's just crouch for C. Get that container under there done. All right, all the dirt is done. Down over here. It's actually not a very big job. Oh, we have a new skill point for our cleaning. Yes, let us let us fix our mop. So we can see most of the dirt. No, let's go for a good mop. We need a good mop. Oh, we have gardening points. Uh, more efficient digging sounds great. Uh, and let's go with the increased digging speed as well. All right. See, that's so much nicer. Aha, uh -huh, there's some. And there's some more. I'm, I'm hoping that the dirt is not on top. Oh, no, there it is. All oh, right. Oh, we have not got all the dirt. Oh, there we are. Now we have all the dirt. Okay. Well, he didn't say to sell anything, so why don't we just put things neatly uh, over here so that he can, he can find what he wants. It doesn't tell us to... Yeah definitely doesn't tell us to sell stuff so we won't sell stuff well, in case he gets sad put that down the bottom looks like he's got himself a little treasure trove of tools here alright we'll head over into here speaking of tools why don't we just you know make it pretty It'll look good once it's done. We're just, like I said, it's just a matter of fiddling it all through. You don't have to be this precise. You can just do the bare minimums of the job. It's not like you'll get anything extra for, you know, making it pretty, but. He can work out exactly where he wants to put his tools, but this way at least he'll know what tools he's got. He may want the coffee cup, we'll see. Screwdriver, let's put that over here as well. All right, now he knows where everything is. In here, let's just back up. This room is done. Hello, beautiful doggy. What are you doing? Are you good? Get ourselves a swivel chair and I hope the puppy doesn't make our life awkward. Ha, ah, who am I kidding? Let us give him a nice brown chair to go with his nice brown table. Uh, a drill flipper. Okay, well, he wants that in this room, so we will put it on the table for him to admire. And we'll find him a nice round brushy trash bin, which we'll put over here. All right, I think that's probably the easiest room in the house. Come on, dog. Good girl. Okay, downstairs is done. 
Let's toddle upstairs. I know, I'm hoping she can teleport. They did say that they were turning the dogs and kitties into teleport and VCs. So, oh, a choice? Definitely a TV room. So the room feels so empty without it. We can also add some decorations, a carpet, and a few potted plants. A fireplace would make this room more complete. A large corner electric fireplace would introduce a modern touch to the interiors and make evenings more pleasant. All right, we'll go with her this time round. He's already had his choice down the bottom. Just get this clean. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to clean first and sell next. We probably don't need to clean half of this stuff. It's probably just all sellable. Do I need to do the windows? Yeah, let's clean the windows. You'll notice our squidgy is bigger. The way to get a bigger window squidgy is to improve your mop. Um, so when we put points into our mop, we get a much nicer... A much nicer um, thing. Let's just get all the windows done. All right, and a lot of the grub. It's it's not telling me I've done the. Wow. Okay. No. Wow. Oh boy. It looks so much nicer though once it's clean. Look at that. How pretty is that? That one's done. Oh, there it is. I am liking this bigger squidgy. Still got to go a little bit slow just to avoid it skipping. But if you remember that, you still get a lot done faster than if you just had the tiny little one. Clean the dirt, 99%. Almost makes me wish I had um, gotten see more dirt in the minimap as a perk. We'll find it. It'll be around here somewhere. Oh, okay. We haven't checked our window sills. Normally they're the culprits. Not today though. Today the window sills look innocent. Okay. It's probably not even a big patch of dirt the way. Oh, there it is. The way we're looking at it. Alrighty, sell object. We are selling the chandelier with bulbs, one. The wardrobe Grand Nemo by two. I think that's that. No, that's not it. My bad. It's this thing here and that thing there. We are buying a TV corner cabinet. Let's put it over there. Oh, it looks nicer like that. There we go. Okay, we're buying a TV. I'm guessing they want that on the corner cabinet. I'll just pivot that so it's... Yep, got it the right way around. Atom chandeliers by two. I think we'll put one here maybe right in the middle of these these walls here there we are and I think we'll put one about there turn those on okay we would like some Zamia two Zamia let's find those we'll use the white pot I think oh they are large aren't they let's some um, I'm not sure if that's going to be too distracting from the telly, to be honest. All right, that can mug the guests from the corner. We would like, I might straighten this table up. There we go. Rectangular carpet asymmetric by two. Let's find these. Maybe if we make it now, do we want blue? No, we do want blue. 
because it's it'll match the thing. We don't want large though. Let us put that there. And I think we'll put it under the table as well. Just get it out of the wall. Keep the little white dot. That's this part done. Alrighty, let's go see what else we need. This one's everything is done. Really? Wow, okay. Now you are allowed to um to buy them more things and go a bit nuts doing everything. Uh, however, we won't. We've got this nice simple little room all done. It's in their budget. They get some spare change to go play with stuff. And um we leave. You've completed 100% of the job. Woohoo! Photographing the apartment. Here we go. It's just amazing what a quick little tidy up does, isn't it? There we go. Neat. Yeah, I am really happy with having mowed the lawn. It took a little extra time, but it wasn't... It, it's it not an imposition, really. Okay, I love flowers, unlike people. <laughs> Man, come on, Veronica. Oh, a new house is unlocked. Complete each order to unlock new houses for purchase and renovation. Check your laptop in the office to see which houses are available for purchase. Well, that's simple. You just go to here, go to your browser. No, and go for purchase. And you will discover that now that we've done that, we should have... Here it is. This HGTV house has been added to our roster. It's the only HGTV house on here. Just like this is the only Pets Flipper house on here. So that's um that's where we're at. Speaking of houses, we've got 40 grand in the bank. Why don't we buy another house? We'll just buy this one. Uh, and we'll stay. Basically, my, my goal is to take all the houses off off the full purchase roster and put them on the bought roster. We could do another job, but what I really want to do is go across here to the house flipper pets and see what the next job in here looks like. Uh huh. I'm excited. Let's have a look at this one. <gasps> the animal caretaker. Running a business and being an accountant has had been Morgan's whole life until he handed the company over to his son and retired. To keep himself busy, he occasionally worked as a freelance consultant for his old friends. Once, he was asked to prepare a report on stray pets in Cozy Village. The numbers were frightening. Morgan felt he had to act. He's determined and knows what to do. So I'm just going to increase the volume here so that when he starts talking, you can hear him. Here we go. Let's accept the job. Puppies have 28 teeth, while adult dogs have 42. Maybe this one doesn't have talking in it. Ew. There is this saying about changing the world. I'm sure you know it. I've already started with myself. Now it's time for my home. Structure and order. They are crucial for my plans. This is how I see it. Cats and dogs will have their rooms downstairs. The other pets in the attic. Yes, I know. It's such a nice room, but it's worth it. It's nothing compared to what they went through. What so many stray pets experience every day. I know, I can't save them all, but a few is more than none, right? Aww. Radio animal caretaker. I'll just turn the volume here down a little bit. Radio. Hopefully that was loud. It was it was softer than I expected. So um yeah. Alrighty. Let's just uh let's just pick these up for him. What is? Uh oh. Little trash panda. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> oh, that is so cute. I know, right? All right. Now that we've cleared ourselves a little bit of a space, let's um, let's give Morgan some 
some room to put his rubbish. Hopefully the little trash panda won't... Um... You are such a good girl. Yes, you did not chase the trash panda. You can, you can have pets. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. I know, we, we, we should not play with the puppy. Where'd that... Oh, it broke. I need to buy an object. Lowest of bin cage. All right. So why don't I just move these off here? Oh, do we have to fix the fence too? Like, it's kind of broken. Yeah, let's fix that. Oh, there's jobs not on the job thing. Ooh. All right. Well, let's find a Lowester bin cage. Lassie, will you get out of there? Don't give me that look, you evil animal. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you. You, mischief chops. All right, you stay. Stay. Man, you are such a naughty puppy. Okay, hang on a minute. There's zones in the garden. That's what the problem is. All right, we, we need to go find all of the garden zones now. Let us give the nice man a lowest bin cage. Uh, oh, we have to assemble it. Oh, okay, here we go. How cool is this? Okay, let's open these up and pop these bins in now. Right, well that should fix our marauding raccoon problem, yeah? Little trash panda. Okay, this section's done. Let's just pop that closed. Let's see if there are any more zones in the garden that require that require fixing and then we'll go inside. I'm a little worried about my budget. 948 and we you know we haven't even gone inside yet. So I'll hold off the mowing as much as I want to do the garden for him. We'll see if we can keep within budget if we do. All right, I'm not seeing any more butterflies zones in the garden. I know, I'm seeing plenty of butterflies. All uh, right, so it looks, I'm not cutting down the tree unless he asks me to. Okay, so I think what we've got here is we've got uh, food and water bowls. So maybe we'll make sure that each doghouse has its own food and water bowl. Just pop everything in uh, where it needs to go. I know, right? Taking my time. Okay, the garage is fine. All right, he wants me to sell a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's do the selling. You do? You want me to sell the... Wow, you do want me to sell that. Okay. No, don't sell those. Radio. All right. So he likes he likes it, but he's actually got a very pet-oriented thing. All right, we sold everything. Yep. So we're now laying the floor tiles... Protosk light rotated panels, which fortunately for us is right here. Uh, let us start in this corner and we'll just go down to here so that we have this part. So tiles for animals to, so it's easy to keep clean. That's a very smart move. 
Uh, now, he would like one Ramal dog bed. Now, we're going to give the dog a, a quiet corner if we can. This looks good. So let's let's go with the Ramal dog bed. Um, okay, we're going to go with the O. Oh, yeah, no. Let's go with the dark green on the oak. Yeah. We'll just pop this here. A Monista dog bed. Uh-oh. Uh, is there an oak? No. That looks all right. the dark green like we did before and if we're going to do pillows we might as well no we leave the bone white the metal right that'll do and then we'll buy that uh, I still think I think we might just give these guys their corner And we might grab this one. Uh, yeah, I might just pop this around here. There we go. A Liston light underbowl mat and a Liston patted, patterned underbowl mat. All right, we're going to stick with our green theme uh, with a little bit of brown, dark brown around the edges. Black. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I kind of like the glue. Bon appetit. Sad pandas. All right, let's do this. You know what? We might put this over here. And we'll grab this. And we're going to pop this over here as well. Uh, okay, we want the next thing now. I'm going to make that a dark green. Yes. Uh, go with that. That looks pretty, right? And bon appetit to you too, puppy. Automatic dog feeders by two. We have greens. Let's go with that. Just pop it. Now that's right, that for some reason the mats don't want to have the dog feeders on them. So we're gonna actually have the dog feeder mats, the dog feeders off the mats because the, the, the under feed mats won't work. Automatic water feeder. Let's go. Let's go with dark green for that. I don't like it. Uh hmm. All right, we'll go with this. I'm actually I should have tried to see. Yeah, see that won't go on the dog mat either. So we'll just pop this there. Dumbbell dog chew toy and a koha chicken chew toy. All right, dog bell. It okay. So nothing can go on the under mat. That doesn't make sense. But okay, let's just and we can't put it in the dog bed. All right. So I don't know, I would really like to be able to put the toys and things in the dog bed and on the on the feeder mats. But we'll put it here just for the moment. A bone dog to choy chew toy. Is it doesn't yeah, that okay, so maybe they just haven't allowed for placement on it. It's fine. That over there. A Vela cat tree and a mouse and a mouse. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna put the cat tree here. Oh boy, I'm I might just wow. Oh no, it's going right in the middle. Over here. You can you can duck flying cats as you go around it. Mouse cat toy. Can I put it on the cat tree? No, I can't put it on the cat. Guys, 
Please, please, can I put cat toys on the cat tree? I know, right? And a yarn cat toy. That won't go. No, that won't go on the cat tree either. Alrighty. Justin, feather on a stick. Can I hang that on the cat tree? No. All right. I'm going to just put it down here then. Fabula covered litter box. We are going to go with the green, the darker base. No, yellow uh, and the ornament to match to match the base. I know we want somewhere relatively quiet for them to do their business, but not too hard for us to. And not too close to where the dog's going to try and eat. Oh, I'm not having a little luck here. We'll just sit that over there. Oh, by two? Sure, let's do that again. Uh, a Maleska pee pad by one. All right, Stink Central. There we are. A dog patterned carpet. Do I not get a choice in color? No. Radio. A Tick Tan double footstool. I kind of like that. We'll make the timber a little bit darker though. All right, let me just rearrange a couple of things. The dog can pee there. The cat can pee there. We're all good. Uh, we might just put this one over here. I know, we, we'll put it here. And then I'll grab this, we'll flip that, and it can go here. We'll grab this, and we'll flip that, and we'll put it right here. Hopefully the dog won't um, mistake it for a pee pad. The Jullo Cat Water Feeder and Automatic Food Feeder. Let's have a look at these two. They're, they're smaller. All right, we're going to put these over here. Because, and this is these are the water bowls. Basically, we want the um, we want them to be you know to to be able to eat without fighting each other. Um, all right, I know the dog is going to scarf that. A bass style interior dog enclosure by twelve and gate for interior dog enclosure. Ah. Well, that's going to make me rethink my room, isn't it? Rude. All right, let me just... Uh, we are going to put the dogs here. I just want to pivot it. How do I... Wait, is it maybe the way I'm facing? Maybe that's how it, how it goes. Yeah. So you've got to be able to... Um... Grab that. Oh no, now they're messing with my chi. Rude. Although, we could just... Oh, uh, hmm. all right. I think I've messed up. Let me just fix this. <laughs> I know, right? What did you do? I don't know. Uh, we're going to get the gate in first. So we can have the gate kind of here. What do you mean I can't put the gate? Okay. All 
Right, I'm just going to have to try and... Can I put the gate in now? Oh, I have to put it inside the... Okay, hang on. I, I, I'll work it out eventually. It's just taking me a little bit of time. All right, so basically you want to have this entire thing dog enclosured. Right, and then what you do is you grab your gate. And then you can open it. Aha, all right. So we're going to pretend that the big dog gets along perfectly fine with cats. No, we're not. So maybe we want to just... Hang on, rearrange the whole thing because Berg. I know, I saw I was not listening to the instructions. It's okay. So we're going to have a water bowl there. So we'll give these guys, like I said, room to spread out. Uh, we need the cat enclosures over here as well. So pop. We might just put one over here. Grab this. That one there. I'll just grab these. We might put them over here. Uh, we'll grab that chicken toy and we'll put that over there. We'll grab this cat feeder and we'll put it over here. Grab the dog feeder and we'll just dump it kind of here for the minute. Uh, going to be right in my way okay we are going to have to put the dogs together I was hoping to give them more of that like a space of their own um, but that's okay just I'm sure they'll eventually work it out just put these over here that's right I can't put anything on that so unfortunately I'm going to just have to put the food feeder things separately here chicken toy thing here i'm not feeding you bird I've got this magpie it's like wait you're home you can feed me no i fed you already you don't get fed twice a day they they come because it's it's bitterly cold outside and and they would dearly love to have um you know what i might just leave that there that'll be fine we'll grab this underbowl feeder Right, I must have put an extra one in. I did hear it go down twice. That would explain what that's doing. Let's just grab this. Because we do not want dogs climbing everywhere. Alrighty, let's have a look in this house. Dining room is all good. Kitchen is all good. Alright, let's just check. The garage is all good. So this whole area here is just fine. Now we need to just go upstairs, I guess. Oh no, wait. Right, that leads outside. The bathroom is good. I know. The office is just fine. He's happy with that. So he just wanted a light renovation. Whoops. This bedroom is good. Okay. Now you can change the stairs in some houses. To do that, aim at them with Cell Objects tool. It's that easy. So basically, you get your Cell Objects and you aim. And it tells you whether or not to change it. But the house does not want them changed. So. Oh, right. We can go on a selling spree. So we are worried about our budget. But 
a lot of it is not something we have to worry about because we're selling so much stuff that um, that we don't need to worry about it quite so much. Oh, we're selling all the books. Wow, he's really changed his lifestyle for these animals, hasn't he? Okay. And the tube ceiling lamps. Alrighty. Okay, well, we'll put that away before we try and sell something we shouldn't. So he wants us to... He wants us to buy a Bexy bunny enclosure. Oh boy, and a guinea pig enclosure. Okay, let's let's grab the Bexy bunny enclosure. I'm actually going to leave it just like that. It'll be fine. Uh, we might pop this up here in the corner. There we go. A cutter belly guinea pig enclosure. Ooh. All right, I'm not so sure about pink. Let's just change that around. Maybe darken up the timber. Or not, there we go, we'll do that. Oh my goodness, that thing is huge. Uh, huh. Wow. Okay, well, it's definitely... I'm glad we put the bunnies where we put them then. Let's put this thing up here. We'll leave a little walk space in there. An arch turtle aquarium, a fondo hamster terrarium, a well and freshwater aquarium. Well, all right, I'm, I'm going to play terrarium. Uh, bingo in here. That looks kind of cool. We'll put that there. A Fondo hamster terrarium. I, I'm actually enjoying just seeing these things for the first time too. That That's small enough, I think, to go under. No, not quite. All right. Oh, it is small enough to go here though. So why don't we... That over here. What is it? It's a... Hamster terrarium. All right. A well and fresh water aquarium. Oh, I'm glad I chose to put that over here. Pull it just out of the wall. Okay. A Greel's wicker ceiling lamp by six. Okay. Well, I, I like the... Let's, let's do... Let's do that. I think we definitely need one here. And then we need one here. And then we need one here. That'll that'll fix that bit. That's three. And then what we might do is we might just go down the center. I think this may look terrible. Let me just work it out. All right, we do need to... Right, I think we probably need to put some over here, some light here. And then I think we probably need to put some light over there. And then I think we'll grab this one and we'll just move it a little bit more central. And then we'll turn the switch. Oh, wow, don't they make the place look warm? Yeah, all right. Okay, then the next thing we want is a Maven wide pantry shelf. A poof with blanket. By three and a Maya furry carpet. So I think the pantry shelf is going to have to go. Um, oh, it's little. That no, it won't fit there. All right, the pantry shelf is going to have to go here. Just pop it in the corner. And the bird poof with blanket. Let's have a look at these things. All right, they're little, aren't they? So why don't we put one here? And then I guess people are going to want to have them as they're looking after the animals. So we might put one here. And I might just put... What's in there? Alright, we might just put one here. 
uh, an Amaya Fairy Carpet. Fine, it's right in the middle though, I'm not sure. Why don't we put this over here? And then we'll grab this and we'll put it over here. There we go. Okay. Now we have not finished the job. All right, that means there must be another room up here. No, this is the top stairs room. Maybe there's something out on the porch? No, okay. Let's close that. Oh, I really like that. That's kind of cute. All right. I know, I did, I did kind of, I was a bit distracted when he was talking because I was trying to get the sound right. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way around the house, see what we can discover that we may have missed. I, I feel like I've missed a huge chunk of house somewhere. Okay, so this part's okay. So that's the loft area. Hmm. Huh. I know, what have I missed? <laughs> the dog approves, awesome. Oh, this area. All right, man, I thought this was just a... Yeah, I got it. Let's turn the light on because it's getting dark. So we are selling some of that and some of that, some of that. Oh, no, that's immoral. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you do anything immoral. Okay. Okay. Lay the floor tiles, ceramic tiles, grey square. Let's get that done. Alrighty. Uh, arrange the ceiling tiles. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, we can do ceilings now. Look at this. Okay. Uh, radio. Buy object. Sancho's wash tub for large dogs. Okay. Well, that's going to go. Why don't we just, can I flip it along this wall? No, because that'll obscure the. All right. I know. Let's just put it the way they probably want us to put it. All right. We'll put it here. I'm actually thinking I would prefer to put it. But then, it, no, that really is, it really is too long, isn't it? Uh, what if I flip it and we'll put it here? It will fit. I just saw it. There we go. Okay, a Manalo tall corner cabinet with door. Okay, this is possibly a good idea. Let's see if we can get that in. Could it fit in that corner, do you think? Yes, it could. A Giuseppe dog, dog shampoo. A Hebworthia. Okay. Actually, I think maybe we'll put the Hebworthia on the... Here, there we go. Um, a Penteo metal trash bin. These things are awesome. They fit pretty much anywhere. A mantilly hanger with light colored towels. Like the green, but we'll go with green. Why don't we put it over here where it's able to be grabbed easily? A Manalo shell. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Okay, let me just move this. A 
and we're going to put this here which means I want the dog shampoo here because I mean why have the dog shampoo a long way from the bath a towel stack yeah let's put that up there as well All right, a Sandra wash tub for small dogs. Okay, we are going to put that over here. I might actually, if we put that there, what we can do is we'll grab this small towel rack and we might just put it up here for small dogs. So you can just reach up and grab the towel. And a round rug. Might make it a large round rug. Might make it green. Oh, no. White. Yeah, white will do. No, I think we'll make it blue because that will fit the decor of the room a little better. There we go. Now the job is done. All right, I'm kind of pleased with that. So I think on this note, guys, we're going to complete this job and um, we're going to head home. It's a much better space, isn't it? Oh, I love this. Yeah, that works. And I forgot to mow the lawn. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible builder. <laughs> Alrighty. I love flowers. Unlike people, I don't blame you. Okay. On, on that note, guys... I know, we are going to pat our puppy. Yes, who is a good girl. And uh, we are going to head on out. Thank you for hanging with me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.